Greetings Curious Viewers, Tommy here with Tool Tips with Tommy and uh, I'm going to do a follow up on my last um, measuring tool video. So I did a video on this guy right here, the GLM 165-27CG and I kind of got a little slack because the main feature or one of the most important things about this one is that it is uh, a green laser which is represented by the little green arrow here in the in the middle so this has got a green diode which is easier for you to see um, little green dot right there uh, all the rest are um, red so I talked a little bit about this but I didn't tell you that it was a green laser so that's one of the most important uh, features about this one and I totally um, I totally forgot to mention it so um, yeah, so I have my uh, selection of them here that I've purchased over the last, um, you know, eight years or so. I'm not sure when I got. This is like the very first, one of the very first ones I got. This is the GLR825. So this is actually the furthest uh, measuring one that I have or capable, the, the most furthest capable. So this one's 825 feet and it's accurate, I think, to like 330 seconds of an inch. But this is like full old school LCD screen does have a backlight which is nice um but uh, this one was full featured years ago this was like the uh, the you know top of the range like i said 825 feet so um you know almost 300 yards this one uh is is um it's really cool i like this this was one of my favorites in fact it has a really cool little feature right here it has like a periscope feature i'm going to try to do a video and show how this works how you can measure so far out um, you know, I mean, cause 825 feet, you're not going to, you know, not very many, um, inside, you know, like you're not going to do much measuring internally. Um, this is 825 feet is kind of an exterior, uh, measuring tool. Um, and this one is capable outside, not as capable as the GLM 400, but this one does have some outdoors capability. So I'm going to kind of show that off using this little periscope, uh, side, um, doohickey here so anyway so this was like the first one that i got and i loved it um i haven't used it at all since i got the um the glm 400 which i'm going to talk about here in a sec so and then i got the glm 50 which this one i thought man way more portable great for indoor you know measuring it's got connected features it's got the bluetooth connected connected features it's got the built-in inclinometer you can watch my video on this one that i did which is um probably my most complete video as far as functionality and everything and then they came out with this one right here which has the um, the built-in camera the GLM 400 so I also did a video on this one which is really cool because of that camera functionality so great for exterior use in fact of all of these lasers if you're gonna use one outdoors this is the one to get even the green laser if it's like I live in Southern California and it's um, you know it's sunny out like 90 percent of the time during the day so very few times am i is it cloudy or or you know hazy or dark it's always bright and red lasers green lasers they're all kind of tough to see in an exterior um, application where it's well lit so interior though the green laser does really help on an interior uh, application um, where it's like a well-lit room or whatever the green laser is uh, much more visible so but this is the one you want to get if you're going to be doing exterior uh, measurements this is the one you get want to get because of this camera feature that you, you know of course you can turn it off so um, it's just this is full featured right here so the GLM 400 is is still like if they had the GLM 400 with a green laser that would be the way to go that would be the the top top you know and then if it went 825 feet of course so uh, and then I got to, so this is the order in which I bought them so the GLM 825 and then the GLM 50 the GLM 400 and then I just recently got the GL uh, GLR or GLM 165 27CG so yeah but um green laser one of the, another one of the cool things that it does that i um i just realized or i just figured it out uh let's see i think it's in the continuous measurement yeah it is in continuous measurement and then you can go to this right here which is tape measure and now it gives you like a tape measure um like it looks like a tape measure <laughs> 
So wherever the, so you can just draw it out. It's really kind of cool. So two feet, like I'm on a beam that's two feet, eight inches away, two feet, 10 inches away. So it's actually, it's really kind of neat that they have that uh, live tape measure type uh, measurement. So yeah, really bitching. In fact, let's see, I'm gonna see how accurate that is. So they're both on the same beam to two six right there. So you can see, you can see where the six lines up. Perfect. Right on. Neato burrito. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so that's kind of a cool feature that it has right there that I thought was neat. Um, but um, yeah, full featured like the GLM-50, um, but a green laser. So keep that in mind, you guys, green laser. So I'm going to do some um, some outdoor measurements to uh, try to show off the green laser, how it works and um, the visibility. Um, compared. I'm going to compare it to the GLM-50 because these are both similar in distance. In fact, I'll probably throw in the GLM-400 and the GLR-825 just to see if there's any difference in the laser um, strength or the diode to see if there's, maybe the GLR-825 has a much uh, brighter diode than the GLM-50. I don't know. So we're going we're gonna to test that. So we're going we're gonna to go to some real world experience and I'll, <clears throat> I'll cut it together. So that is all for now. See you in a bit. How do you do this? Like... All right, so let's see. I'm going to try to show off the uh, the GLR825, a little periscope feature. So I got my, I just went shooting earlier this week. Pretty good grouping. Not great, but, you know, I was dialing in my optic. So there you go. That's why I was off. Anyway, I'm going to kind of show off how it, uh, how it works. And this is the GLR825 right here. All right. So we're going to turn on the laser. Or the laser is on and then this is the little periscope thing on it so let's zoom in on this guy focus you fuck and there so see where the little red dot is on my see if i can hold it still so you look through that and then wherever the dot is you can make your measurement so it's not as good as the GLM 400 with a camera, but you uh, kind of can see what you got to do. You got to look through the little periscope thing on there. And then wherever the dot is, you can push the button. But that was the thing is it's so hard when it's far away. When you go to push the button, you shake and it's it's not really easy. So you can, you know, you can easily make a measurement far away, but you can't do it precisely like if you were trying to see right where that target was far away it would be tough unless it was mounted so but yeah that's kind of how they how they did it on these early versions of the um the exterior ones that's how they did it so but now they do it with the camera like they did on the glm 400 here so that's easily the uh so see so you're doing it with this one you just turn it on Turn the camera on. I mean, I don't have to because it's so easy. I could zoom in, put it right on there, push the button. 14 feet away, but much easier to do with this GLM 400 to do those exterior measurements. So, yep. Now let's go outside and see if we can see if we can show off green diodes and red diodes and see what the difference is. And see if we can make it. Make uh make that green laser stand out a little bit. So later. All right. So here's a little outdoors. These aren't very far away. Maybe I don't know, twenty feet or something. I'll take a measurement and we'll look. But 
So let's see, I'll zoom in. That is the GLR825 dot right there. That one right there is the GLM50. That's the GLM400. And that's the, well, that's the GLM165. That's the green one. So pretty obvious which one the green one is. So if I back out here, it looks like my GL, the GLR, one of them turned off. But so you can see that two red dots there, and then the green one though is much clearer. Or I don't know, maybe it isn't much clearer. But this is outside. Remember how I said it's never dark in Southern California? Well, it's kind of cloudy out right now. So if it was sunny out, you'd have a tough time seeing these. But um, the green one is, I think the green one's more visible, easier to see. So I'll go back to uh, where the measuring tools are and we'll do it from back there. Okay, so now we're back where the laser tools are. We're 27 feet away from them. And you probably can't, you can see the green one, but I'm gonna move them so you can see them. So there's the, the laser, if my camera would stay still here. So there's the green one. You can see how easy that one is to see. And then there's the, this is the GLM-50. And we're 27 feet away, by the way, outdoors. Uh, GLM-400. Is that one right there that's moving? And the GLR-825. Is that one right there? So it looks like all the red diodes are all pretty much about the same strength. I don't think any is stronger than the other. But I think the green one is the easiest to see. But definitely indoors in a well-lit environment, the green one stands out quite a bit. So, but there you go. So that's all four of them right there. We'll zoom out so you can see them all. That's them. So to sum it all up, you guys, um, if I was going to put these in an order of which ones I like the best, I would, I do like the green laser, but I would put the GLM 400 as my favorite. That's the one I would recommend. And like I said, when they come out with the GLM 400 with a green laser, that would be the one to get. Um, longest distance, uh, fully featured. Uh, this one does this one does the rounding feature as well. So this has the rounding button so you can you know program it to You know break off at eighth inch quarter inch half inch whatever this also has the rounding feature on it as well It's just in the functions when you set it uh, you can set it to, to do that rounding feature. So um, This is my favorite and when they come out with this one with the green laser that I'll get that one too Because so, <laughs> I can't you know not have them, but uh, that's the order in which I like them uh, at, this is the one I would recommend, the GLM 400. Uh, this is your second best one. If you don't need that 400 feet and you're just doing interior measurement, then of course the GLM 165 in the green laser. But they also make this one in a red laser for less money that has all the same features. So if you don't need the green laser, don't want the green laser, that one. And then the GLM 50, which I don't think they're going to be making this one anymore. And then the GLR 825 is... This one's gone, but uh, not forgotten, basically. So, but um, yeah, so um, features on the newer ones, IP rating, um, but the green laser does burn through batteries a little faster. So the red one is maybe a little bit more efficient. This one also is going to come with that. Remember I was talking about the, uh, it's going to have a battery, a lithium ion rechargeable battery uh, module that you can put on there for like 30 bucks. I still haven't gotten that yet. I haven't seen it available yet. But um, yeah, so the GLM 400 is my favorite. This is my go-to, and that's the one I would recommend for everybody. A little bit more expensive, but fully featured. I'm the kind of guy that likes to buy things that have all the bells and whistles. So if I ever need it, I have it. Um, you know, I don't want to look back and think, I wish I would have gotten that one. Um, 
I'll never look back and think, ah, I spent too much money on it. So I always want something that has all the features. You know, when I bought my welder, I, I got the full multi-purpose welder that'll do stainless steel and aluminum and does MIG and TIG and everything. But, you know, I've never done aluminum. I've never welded aluminum. I've never welded stainless steel. But if I ever got into that application or that need, um, I'm ready to go. So, all right, that's all. Take care. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.